Android 12 comes with a whole host of new interface features and functionality, and one of the most useful changes is the new one-handed mode. It's really simple and useful. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocket Lint, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use it. Unlike some previous one-handed solutions, which essentially reduced the phone interface down to a mini version in the corner, this one takes a more iPhone-like approach and brings down content from the top of the screen essentially just bringing the bits that are hard to reach closer, making them much easier to get to. So your first step to using this is finding the toggle in your settings menu. The quickest way to get to it is just searching for one-handed mode in the search field at the top of the settings screen. You can also find it by opening settings, going to system, gestures, then tapping one-handed mode. Toggle one-handed mode on, and then by default, when you swipe downwards quickly near the bottom of the screen, it brings the top of the screen down. That way, your buttons and controls that might be at the top of the screen are easy to reach with one hand. To exit, just swipe up from the bottom or tap the empty space at the top of the screen. Or if you wait about 8 seconds, it'll take itself back up again. Now, if you'd rather this action brought down notifications instead, you can select the show notifications option instead of the pull screen to reach option. Now, if you swipe at the bottom, it brings down notifications and the quick settings shade. Now, while you can already drag down on your home screen wallpaper to get your notifications, this mode means that you can do it from any app. So having it active in this one-handed mode means you can drag down the notifications from the bottom of the screen regardless of which app you're using, and that could be useful for you. If you want, there's also an option to use a different shortcut to activate one-handed mode. So go back to the one-handed mode screen and toggle the switch at the bottom. By default, it adds an accessibility button to the screen. It looks like a thumb hovering over a phone. When you tap it, it'll activate whichever one-handed feature you've selected. Now, if you tap on one-handed mode shortcut at the bottom, you can also choose to have it activate when you press and hold both the volume buttons. This is an accessibility feature though, and only really worth doing if you need it to work that way. In fact, the first time you try to activate it, it'll warn you it changes some of the default actions of the volume buttons. So there you have it, a quick guide on how the new one-handed mode works in Android 12. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media, if you want to follow me on there you can do, or if you have any questions or want to know more about Android 12, leave a comment in the comments below. If you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.